Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 15 of Online Card Classes Crafty Chat. Today we are chatting with Heidi Crowell, the owner of SimonSaysStamp.com. And Heidi is talking to us today about all the excitement that is Stamp Timber, as well as an exciting addition to the Stamp Timber lineup, a $5,000 Dream Craft Room giveaway. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Crafty Chat. My name is Lydia Fiedler. I'm the community manager of SplitCoastStampers.com for my day job, and I blog at understandblue.com. I am here today with Christina Werner. Hey guys, I'm Christina. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I'm a little off today. I have a head cold, so but I'm going to power through. It's going to be okay. <laughs> um, but so just a little stuffy up here, but anyway, um, I blog at kwernerdesign.com, and then I also started this lovely online card classes website with my good friend Jennifer. And I'm Jennifer, and um, I will apologize because I'll probably have workers coming in and out, which will freak out my dog, and my internet will die, and all those things. The joys of having a new home. But um, uh, you can find me at jennifermaguireinc.com and here at OCC. And our guest today is a Crafty Chat alumni, Heidi Crowell from Simon Says Stamp. Hi, Heidi. Tell us a little bit about you and where we can find Simon on the internet. Uh, I am a mom at a two and a wife and the owner and founder at simonsaysstamp.com and you can find me sometimes blogging at Simon Says Stamp blog and the website is simonsaysstamp.com Well we are very excited to have you back Heidi and we want to talk to you about we actually just had this conversation kind of about how there's seasonality in the craft industry and I know you and I have talked about that before sometimes there's a little lull in the summer when the kids are out of school and then things start to heat up again in the fall and so we since you have such an exciting event happening right now we wanted you to tell us about Stamp Timber at Simon. So Stamp Timber started about eight years ago and we had a lull this time of year because there's not a lot of card making holidays in September but there's a lot of people who want to make things because the kids are back in school and the weather is changing and we're home more we're not vacationing as much and we were looking for a way to build excitement for everybody during September whether it's a manufacturer or a stamper uh, who for everybody so we started an event that started small it was just on our blog and then through the years we've invited designers to participate and manufacturers are to participate customers to participate uh, this year's extra special because not only are we doing exclusive collaborations with 16 manufacturers uh, we're also doing a big huge giveaway it's a dream craft room giveaway and all you need to do to register to win is enter your your email address on our blog there's a page you can find at the top and it's a thousand dollar gift card to stamp and storage whoa you can customize your own craft storage space you will also get a five hundred dollar gift card to IKEA uh, because it seems like so many people in the crafting industry prefer a lot of the IKEA storage units we wanted to make sure that was part of it and then Tim Holtz and a lot of the brands he's partnered with are sponsoring products stamps stencils dies uh, tools like the scissors and the pokey tool that is one of my favorite tools for especially getting my little pieces out of my dies and Simon Says Stamp is also uh, donating cardstock, ink pads, uh, our popular stamps, popular uh, dies and you can see all of the things that are being given away in the dream giveaway on the little two and a half minute video that's on the link that I just talked about a little bit. How much is it valued at? That's a great question five thousand dollars Whoa! So that's that's a pretty big deal it just got complicated because we had to have all this like fine print about giving it away and sending you forms and stuff no I think that's important for people to see because they'll see that so complicated you know they see all that jargon but it yeah. has to be there it does for everybody's sake so like my sister she she doesn't do it as much anymore but if there was a time a few years ago where she was calling into radio stations, like one particular radio station, so often to win prizes that they would recognize her voice. 
and she was winning tickets to the zoo and to like movies and concerts. She won a trip to go see American Idol being filmed in LA and then go on a tour in Beverly Hills. Like she won a ton of stuff. But the thing is interesting was that like every time they would call in, they'd have to get her social security number and like all this stuff to make sure that she was paying taxes on all the prizes that were given. So it's not just like, it's like it's not like they're the, the IRS is pinpointing stamp, Simon Says Stamp and saying you have to do this. It's totally a legal issue across all yeah. giveaways for a lot of companies. Yeah. So, yeah. But we wanted to make it fun though, so it was hard to draw a line of where to stop because a lot of, for example, the products, the storage products can be used in different ways. You can pick Stampin' Storage has ink storage, marker storage, cardstock storage, they even have stickle storage. They have so many different products, it, it, it was hard to say you're going to get a ink pad storage unit. Like That just didn't seem exciting enough. Mm -hmm. So we tried to make it as, as exciting as possible. And we literally spent, I would say, probably nine or ten months um, putting this together and, and getting it all to work and doing the video and gathering all the products and, and talking to the to the brands. And really a huge thank you to Stamp and Storage and also Tim Holtz with Sizzix and Ranger, Stampers Anonymous, Tonic, uh, B Physics, if I didn't already say that, because they're also being generous and getting into the excitement of all of this. Because during Stamp Timber, we don't want to exclude these brands that don't have stamps. You know, Tonic doesn't have stamps, Tim, Tim Holtz stamps. He ha they have tools. But those are such a great part of our craft room and our craft space. So it's a way, this giveaway was a way to involve more than just stamp companies because the collaborations we're doing are with just stamp companies. So we did one on September 2nd, and that was a Lawn Fawn stamp and die set. That one uh, has been very popular. It's got dogs on it, and I, I think, especially, it's so cute. Have, yeah, we love dogs. <laughs> and so that was exciting. We have one coming up soon. Uh, by the time this video airs, it'll be live with uh, Reverse Confetti as Friday, September. What is tomorrow? The ninth. 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 Yep. Tim is doing an exclusive stamp and stencil set coming out September tenth, Saturday, which is really exciting. The best part of that was. It was a neat experience for me because Tim and I were on Skype and I actually got to see the stamp set come together. I think Christina, the night it happened, I was texting you saying, it oh, was really neat to see how these things come together. You know, because he let me, you know, walk down that creative path with him of helping select designs and what to do with them and how to size them and pick the stencil designs and to put them on little cards and make sure they would fit, um, standard card size, make sure they worked well together. That was really fun. So it, this is fun for... Uh, me and hopefully for stampers who get to see a, a new exciting product come out. Uh, Lawn Fawn was really hot to sell out last year, so we sold or we brought in more this year, hoping that we can make the excitement last. And we do still have some left. Hopefully, we do also by the time this airs. But people are excited about the Lawn Fawn release too. And there's lots more to come. So it's meant to be a surprise every day. It's meant to be where you go on our blog and it's hosted there and you see what brand are we celebrating today. Some brands have a coupon, some have inspiration with a coupon, uh, some have a collaboration, uh, but it's, it's meant to be a focus, a little bit of fun facts about that brand and, and featuring their products so that people who are on our blog and in the industry have a, something exciting to, to talk about. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm all ears. <laughs> um, I was going to say that it's the stamp and storage stuff. I have a bunch in my craft room, like right up here, storage and... All here, I can't move my hand. There we go. All this right here are inserts that go into an IKEA um, Calyx shelving unit. And then, see if I can, a little bit of a mess. But all my ink pads, all that right there is all staff and storage. And a thousand dollars would go a long way because, oh, like, yep. I have all my paper storage, and I have two of their biggest ink pad marker refill things. I could do some damage with the thousand dollars at, at <laughs> stamp and storage. No lie, magnet cards. People are gonna love that, Heidi. That's amazing. And the scale of what you're talking about is interesting because I think probably when people hear that you said it took ten months to put this together, I think that'll surprise a lot of people. A lot of work goes into something that it just takes a couple clicks to enter the the giveaway 
that's a ton of time to put into an event like that. Well, I hope people love it. So. And what do they, what do you, again, what do we, people have to do to enter? It's very easy. You, you said you go to the site, there's a video, but what, is, what do you do to enter? There's a link, and you click on it, and it takes you to a place where you enter your email address. Click here to register for the grand prize giveaway. This is all hosted on our blog. And when I click there, the sign-up has email address, first name, last name, and your postal code. Great. Yeah, I've got it on my screen right now. Um, so you can see it up there. Yeah, um, it if you go back to the uh, main blog, there's a big graphic here on the side. You just have to click on it. And um, you can just scroll down. And, and then you just spell it and you're all good. Yeah. So it's easy. You don't have to make anything. You don't have to buy anything. You just go enter. Exactly. Now, Heidi, the collaborations are super fun to see uh, every year. It's that I think we all kind of look forward to what those are going to be and what companies you're going to work with. Are the collaborations that you do available after step, September, or do they have to get them in September and they're limited release? They're available while supplies last. And it's tricky because some supplies, like last year, Lawn Fawn only lasted a couple of days. Um, and then you have some brands, especially the ones towards the later, later in the month, that might last into October. Um, last year we did a, a collaboration with some companies like Pretty Pink Posh who wanted us to keep that in our store year-round because they wanted to design other products based on that stamp and die set. So we kept it year-round. Um, we're going to be doing the same thing with Pretty Pink Posh this time, but we're trying to announce that with every reveal uh, what the situation is for that brand. How about the Simon releases that happened during September? How do those work? You know, that's a good question. I'm, I'm really glad. I'm glad you asked that because we're getting a lot of that question. So next year, we'll have to be more clear with it. The Simon releases are released and going to be replenished as they sell out. So we have sold out of some of the Simon releases already, which we did not do on purpose. It's great that people are so excited. Uh, we have some of them being replenished. We actually just got a stamp shipment in today that's going to replenish the U um, Clink set, the U Matter Clink set that Laura Basson designed, which was kind of fun. Um, I didn't know Laura did that. She did. It was all her idea. Yep. The U Die and Stamp stamp set? Oh. Yep. There's a Clink oh, stamp with, with words in the background, and then there's a clear stamp set that goes with it, yeah. too, and then the word U is a die. So she designed all three of those to work together. I think it was just something on her wish list that she yes. she wanted to do. So I use the you stuff, and I'm using the background on a video later this week. So I didn't know it was hers. That that makes it even more fun. And then Christina did the Autumn Blessings one, which people are really enjoying too. There's a die um, that we are restocking called Autumn Blessings that sold out, and then a stamp set that goes with it. And uh, people are definitely really liking that too. So, and the, the other thing, which kudos to Jennifer, because I tried to do envelopes. I'm looking around because I have product around me, but I tried to do this last year. I wanted to bring envelopes out because how do you have card supplies and no envelopes, right? It's like 50% of what we do, right? Yeah. And we never talk about them. You're right. We don't. They're like the dark horse of our industry. Mm -hmm. So we source, we have 38 different SKUs, but we have, we're bringing, we brought out envelopes and see how they have a self seal. Oh, um, thank this, you. This is the copper, but we have lots of different colors. Um, one of the other colors that's metallic that I really like is this um, Audrey Blue. But they all have the self seal, and they're really heavy duty. So if you're going to spend the time making a handmade card, I think you kind of you want to present it in a nice envelope too. So I was shocked with how excited we sold out of a lot of the envelopes the very first day on release day. I missed them all. Yeah, well, we're, we're getting them back slowly but surely. I think most of them are back now already. So we've been able to replenish quickly. But to answer your question, Lydia, is those Simon Says Stamp branded products that are not collaborations are going to continue to be replenished as long as there's demand for them and we're able to replenish them. So Okay, good to know. So how has Stamp Timber changed life at Simon Says Stamp? It's turned, I think, what was otherwise uh, kind of a let's gear up for Halloween and Christmas time of year. It's turned that gear up time into an exciting time all on its own. You know, we're, we're doing little trivia contests every day about numbers and releases and things to get our people, keep them excited, because a lot of our people are working extra to fulfill the orders, because we're trying to get orders out as quickly as possible 
because if you order today, we want it to go out as quickly as possible. We don't want you to have it in October. It's September. So <laughs> we're it's it's changed here, which it's much more exciting, much busier. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I have to give kudos to my husband because years ago he was the one that came up with the the word stamp timber. Since oh, we, really? Yeah, we've trademarked it since, and you know we try to do something different and, and even more exciting every year. I don't know what we're going to be able to do next year that's been more exciting, at least for me, than than this stuff. But um, it's it's exciting around here. I wish I could take my computer and like walk you through and and see. It's hot and humid today, but still people are you know responding here positively and it seems like consumers are excited every day too to see what's on the blog and they're commenting and sending us questions about the releases what you know what's next and we're trying to hold some things close and not do too many sneak peeks because we want it to be a surprise every day and um, not because we don't already know we've we've got it all planned out and scheduled out but we want every day to be like a little present and a happy surprise in the day well it seems like you have an army of, of people out there um, posting stuff on social media. I've seen a lot of Stamp Timber activity um, already this month. Do you? How many people? How many designers are you working with for an event that's this big and this long? That's got to take a lot of work. Oh my goodness! I don't even know the number. We did a blog hop last weekend. I think there were sixteen or so in in the blog hop. But and really, it's it's not. It's anybody who wants to participate. We would love to. To work with in some way, shape, or form. We sent out product ahead of time. We just put a notice on our Facebook page saying, "Hey, if you're ex this was in August, if you're excited about Stamp Timber and want to see some of the products early, email us your email address, and the first 50 people that email us will send you some product." And oh, how fun! So it's not like we're trying to. That was just in the moment, 50 people. We're not mm -hmm. trying to get to a certain number. It's just trying to be as inclusive as possible. Sure. There's there's no limit. I don't think people have any idea how much goes into it. You know, Christina and Heidi and I text a lot, and I just, that month, the, you know, especially the month leading up to Stamp Temper, it is a huge amount of effort, and it, we appreciate it, because it, I think it's so much fun that we have a month where we get to celebrate what we love so much, and see all the companies and all the different designers involved together, because that's a big part of this industry, is how we work together. So, I think it's fantastic, and I greatly appreciate all the time and effort. You and your team, I know they all do stuff, too, um, that you guys do to bring this together. It's exciting. And then you have Stamp Timber isn't your only celebration month, right? Well, no, it's not. We have Dice. Are you talking about December? Yeah. Yes, we do have December. So we are already planning for December. Yeah. So oh. actually, I, 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 you know, I, that wasn't my idea. Am I allowed to? not take credit for December the word. Go ahead. I, I remember being in Maryland uh, with Jennifer probably, I mean, years ago, and mm -hmm. you mentioned the word December, and I, a light bulb splash. <laughs> what a great idea. Um, well, I, I don't know. I think a lot of us, I, I think Christina and Lydia are this way too. It, like, dyes are so much apart. I feel like it's, for me, it's like 50-50. Oh, yeah. So to have a month for dyes just... I just wanted an excuse to sell right. <laughs> products, <laughs> celebrate, discount. So I think it's fun that you have both. And so you just you finished Stamp Timber and you're you're going getting ready for December then. Yeah, Stamp Timber is definitely the bigger celebration sure. just because the time of year I think in December people are focused on Christmas. So it's we don't want to take away from not just Christmas, but holidays around December. There's other ones too. Yeah. And it's a busy time already in December. Dyes do definitely deserve a lot of attention. They do. They deserve their own their own month. And I love that those those two are set up for each other. Heidi, during September, do you try to touch on all of the fall holidays? So throughout the month, are people going to see ha Halloween and Thanksgiving and all of those? By default, really, um, there are products and designs coming out for those holidays. We have a special, this is a newsflash, kind of a scoop. One thing we've always wanted to do was and have uh, people interested in was a Halloween card kit. Uh, but I didn't want to do it as part of our monthly subscription because not everybody wants or not everybody celebrates Halloween, especially overseas. 
So this year we're doing a special edition Halloween card kit. It's going to go for go uh, be revealed Saturday the seventeenth. Christina drew the stamps for it. They're freaking adorable. Uh, oh, I want to see them. Um, do I have them here in front of me? Are we allowed to show the world? So we're getting a sneak peek for our OCC fans, huh? Okay, so this so this is a sneak peek. Huh? Ooh, oh my oh, goodness, no. look at those. It's Lila. Oh. So this is part of we're doing a special edition. It's not part of the subscription. So if you're a subscriber, it's, you know, there this is not going to be automatically sent to you. It's going to be a a one-off kit in our store and it's going to be a blog hop September 17th on Saturday and then the full reveal of the kit and this one's different because it's not just it doesn't just have card making supplies in it, it has some interesting other tidbits in it not just card making um, that are like every day everybody could use um, so this is the stamp set for our special edition Halloween <laughs> card kit it's going out September 17th it's a special kit. Christina designed the stamps. That is so cute. <sighs> Adorable. Now mm -hmm. I'm intrigued about the non-card making things. Uh -huh. So when you see that peak, this is not seen anywhere right. else yet. Huh? Right. Exclusive. I feel special. Right. Look can at you, that. Can you see oh, it on my screen. You, Christina, oh, you are so handy. Oh, the little fairy is so cute. Oh. Yep, and then the girl, That's Frankenstein, adorable. adorable, ridiculously cute as usual, Christina. So talented. So yeah. what a better time of year to bring it out than during September. So yeah. good job, Christina. People are all working overtime trying to get everybody their stamps during yeah. September. Part of it, they've been coming in at 3 a.m. in logistics. Part of that is not just a little bit of extra hours every day, but also it's so hot and humid here. A lot of people have elected to come in early rather than stay late because it just gets hotter here. We're in, a, we're in Columbus, Ohio. I think today the heat index is 98 degrees with, a, with heavy humidity. So it just it, they feel better coming in. I, I don't know that I would be able to come in that early, but we do have a, a, a good amount of people that are doing it cheerfully. So that's good. I mean, not cheerfully like, woohoo, let's get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been trying to do fun things like popsicles and food trucks and, you know, got to keep it, I don't know, got to keep it fun. Yeah, that's awesome to hear, though. I know it's a ton of work, and I know that there's a lot of love in all those little packages that go out. So I appreciate everybody who's up at, at 3 a.m. because Tracy Freeman posting her cards on Facebook made me order yesterday. So you tell all the 3 a.m. people I said thank you. Oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> So if anybody has any ideas of, of something they'd like to see next year or something that we're, we haven't thought of, I mean, I'm all ears. We like that. That's an advantage of being a small company is that you can respond to ideas and react, you know, like, oh, that is a good idea. I want to try to do something where it's some kind of card drive or some, but I don't know who and how and, and all of that, but my hopes for next year. Yeah, that would be a fun component. Organization is fun though, because we, you know, we all buy a lot, and we got to put it somewhere. <laughs> so I mean, that's a perfect <laughs> companion uh, campaign, I think. So that was a very inspired idea. We'll have to see if we have a great idea for you for next year. But I think you could do organization till the cows came home, and everybody would be excited. Oh, good. Okay. So. Well, what else do we need to know about Stamp Timber? Every day on the blog, there's something new? Yep. Every day we celebrate a different brand. Some brands are celebrated with an exclusive. Some are inspiration. Some are a coupon. Today, for example, we um, are celebrating a brand with a 15% off coupon off all the products in their brand. Um, and we're doing a few more of those as, as time goes out. And we're trying to put as much as possible on Facebook for inspiration and Instagram and let people know. But I don't want to do too much that people get overwhelmed either. So I'm just loving seeing all the card samples. I think people are doing amazing work. Yes, it definitely brings out the best in people. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I think it would be overwhelming if it was just products and mm -hmm. the fact that you give so many ideas is what makes it. We want more. You know, that, that's why we're good with the everyday thing, because there's so many ideas to go along with it, so. 
Then I know you brought in a bunch of new stuff lately, some of it in response to what people tell you in your in your uh, Facebook group. So what's some new stuff that you've started carrying lately that you're really excited about? Sugar Pea Designs is a brand that's pretty new for us, and that's they have really cute designs. Your Next Stamp has been fun. Um, Mommy, Mommy Lay, which uh, Kathy, our dear friend, uh, re recommended. She has some really neat sparkle of glitter pens. I don't, they don't write glitter. They're just glittery pens, which are fun for planners. Really good ones. Good people. Concord yeah. and Ninth has been new to us this year, and wow. they're doing an exclusive for September. They've had a lot of really great designs this year, so it's been fun seeing a company start and, and grow, you know, and you could just watch it happen. Sorry, Greg, Greg and Angie have been on our, our little show here before, and we adore them. So we yeah, them. they're yeah. veterans. When is the Concord 9th release? Uh, Sunday the 11th, so this coming Sunday. Cool. Kind of there's a lot going on this weekend then. And there's this uh, oh. pine cone themed. So oh, it's pine cone beautiful. Stamps. It is pine cone themed. So. It's fun to see those partnerships. That's what I love about it is the collaborations. It's really fun to see you hooking up with Hero Arts and Concord and Ninth and, and Ranger and all that to do these. It's the um, it's just so unique to see that. So it's fun and it's fun to shine a little spotlight on some companies that some people may not be as familiar with as well. And me personally, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just that shopping urge thing that we all have when we see something fun. I actually really like the exclusivity of it too because I remember when I first started seeing about Stamp Timber, there's like, I don't know, it's, it's like getting a great deal or winning an auction on eBay. There's something super fun about knowing if I don't get this stamp now, I'm not going to get it after, you know, Stamp Timber ends. So I think that adds to the fun of shopping. I don't know if you see that with your people, but I bet they go right in there the first day it's out and they want that exclusive stamp set. That's how I am too. Yeah, for sure. That's how I feel when I see something new and special. Yeah. Be part of that. And I guess your kit was a big hit this month. Somebody emailed me and said, do you know anybody who has the Simon kit? That one sold out fast, huh? It was a, yeah, it was a birthday theme kit. And I think what part of what did it was there's scratch off stickers that Inky Annex has brought to market. I think other people have had them, but Inky Annex has really made them big lately. And the September card kit included a scratch off different sizes of stickers. And Christina drew a stamp set based around those stickers for the kit. And it also had great papers that are available from Doodlebug every day, the, the kitty collection. So the components of the kit are all still available separately in our store. But it was a great deal to get them all together in the kit. So people definitely respond. It was a birthday theme. Um, it's good to do a birthday theme kit. Everybody has a birthday, and we try to do it yep. once a year. So this was the month, and it, people really responded well to it. I love those scratch-off stickers, though, man. I but, do, too. Yeah. Those are irresistible. What a fun thing to add. Those and the dies where you pull open the... You know, they just perforate and you pull the opening. It's just so much fun. It makes your card look so professional and finished. Something exciting. Yeah, a little surprise. Thank you so much for joining us today, Heidi. That was an amazing trip through Stamp Timber. We really, really appreciate it. Tell us again where people should go for info on the Dream Craft Room giveaway and just in general for the rest of the month's releases. Our blog is Home Depot for Stamp Timber, so every day there's something that updates are posted, and the link to the Dream Craft Room giveaway is on the top left-hand corner of our blog every day, so if you need to get there that way, you can. There's other ways, but that's the easiest way to get there, and uh, that's, we try to keep that as home base and move, move out from the blog, so I'm into stampblog.com. Well, thank you. I know I was surprised you even answered my email because I know what a busy month this is for you. So thanks for also taking an hour out to do this with us. It's so much fun to talk to you. You're so bubbly and enthusiastic. <laughs> An inbox from Lydia Fiedler, my goodness. You're <laughs> Those are fun inboxes. <laughs> You're fun. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Indeed. And I look forward to Christina's little set and the rest of what you have in store. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.